now? We're live? Alright, so good evening everyone and welcome. This is Twist Gaming where you get to play board games with us. This is our spotlight stream where we like to go over new games that are just coming out into the industry. Uh, for example, games fresh on Kickstarter like tonight's entry, Stone Days. And first off, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And we have two special guests this evening. We have Sharon and Lior. Uh, from Stone Days, uh, here to show us the game, tell us how to play, answer any questions, and just be awesome in general. Hi guys, how are you doing this evening? We're doing great, thank you for having us. It is not evening for Lior. <laughs> it's early, early morning. Yes. It's late yep, evening. Yep, over here in TLV. That's fantastic. So, Anne, do you want to do your thing now? Start asking questions? Oh no, first off, this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Stone Days, yes. live now yes. on Kickstarter. So TP, I know, I think you put that in chat, so thank you very much. We're asking that question now or after the game? Well, just it's usually after, which is yeah, why I, I made know, that on the spot high, kind of face. Hi, questions. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Uh, that works too. So let's get into the meat of the game. So would you two like to tell us a little backstory about the game, a little bit about it? Not any rules explanation, we'll get into that in a second, but just uh, a little bit of the flavor of it. Sure. So, uh, Stone Dead will be our second, uh, or what we call the uh, in, in sync uh, story, I'll just mute something here. Our second uh, what, in, in the series of what we call in sync. Uh, basically, what it means is it's a simultaneous, scene by scene uh, game that, the, that, that is a tactics game uh, where you have to. Uh, reach your goal while watching what your opponent is doing and uh, it will be, this is our third Kickstarter campaign and uh, you know the theme of it came from uh, basically a lot of uh, you know dig through childhood Captain Caveman and cartoons and stuff like that we hooked up with a very talented artist called Memo Angelis uh, that uh, he drew the faces, and then we built upon those uh, and uh, created the whole uh, art of the game. Everything you see on our uh, campaign page and in the game is uh, basically made by us. Uh, we, you know, we had to learn animation in the last two months <laughs> uh, in order to make it happen. So uh, we really you know the core of, of crowdfunding. You know, just because this is our, uh, our dream and, and, and that's our a great platform for us to, do, to, to reach our goals. Very cool. Good work with that, guys. Yeah. And you were saying something, Anne? So the campaign's been up for about a week, eight days now? Yeah. Right. And uh, you were saying before that this is your guys' third kind of campaign. And you're feeling a little, yeah. you're, you're feeling really great about this one because you you really have a really great product and yeah. we're really excited to delve into it. Yeah, this one definitely uh, has a broader appeal for us. Our first campaign was a two-player abstract team, and of course there's uh, great things about abstracts and, and some limitations. And the second campaign was uh, was a, a little bit more niche. It was a uh, 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 basically uh, a tank uh, commander uh, game uh, which came from uh, what started uh, this whole journey for Sharon which was a, a, a commander of a tank in, uh, in the Israeli army uh, back in the days and, and this one uh, is, is a, has a broader appeal uh, it's you know the panels are individualized, so there's you know there's a lot of uh, options there where you can uh, you can multiplayer a lot better, and a lot of things we learned in in the in the, the final act campaign, which is the ten game uh, were implemented here. A lot of things our backers back then helped us reach are now in the game uh, on the base level. And uh, you know, and there's uh, a little more things like the wooden parts and the magnetic control panels and all that. You know, we really try to to, to get everything done down, and, and we don't do halfway or uh, never. So, no. Uh, as far as Kickstarter goes, the, the beginning of this one was uh, extraordinary. Uh, it's been uh, like. 
finished those very cool stretch goals we, we laid out for, uh, for our back. Very okay. cool. So I think without further ado, we should uh, jump into the rules so we can get going into the gameplay. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Okay. All right, so which one of you fine fellows is going to be explaining the rules to us? Okay, um, I'll give you the overview of the rules. Um, I think we should begin uh, with the basics. Okay. Okay, um, kind of run through it. Uh, would you guys first go through our setup phase? Sure thing. Set up game or give an overview of the so for the setup, we've got a couple different components that I see here, and this is the be very beginning of the game. So we've got components such as the the small rocks. Yeah, the, just it's the other side of the rock, man. Oh, this okay. This is like, like I said, the samples so always look for the nice side. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> anyway, the way the way you set up the game first. Generally saying, the objective of the game is uh, for each player or team to reach the other side, what we call Alhala, which is the sacred space, to be the first to reach the opponent's sacred space. And, and that's the definition of the sacred space is the last row um, of squares on each side, exactly as you're shown. Okay? okay. So that's the goal of the game. The, f the first player to advance any one of the cavemen or women to that, uh, to that last row is winner of the game. And it's as if you declare the valley is out. Okay? So initially we begin set up and we have two things to set up. First are the um, tactical elements, which are the rocks mm -hmm. and uh, the swamp. And the layout of your cave map. Now each game is is totally kind of uh, different because setup is different. You can set up any way you wish. So tactical elements you can set up anywhere you want on your side of the board, your half of the board, um, and you can place them anywhere you want except in the last row, in the, except in the sacred space. Okay. Now the way setup goes is each player or team puts one element um, on the board in turn, okay? Okay. So, so you put a rock, then the other team puts uh, the rock. What's the so, difference between the three elements? The difference between the small rock, the large rock, and the swamp? Okay, the swamp is basically, once you place it, it's impassable. I mean, no one of the players can go through it. Okay. Except one character. You see there's a character who has an action of a ladder on it. Kind of a kind of a ladder slash bridge type of thing, yeah. Okay. Uh, left, the left uh, symbol. Okay, so this character is the only one who can actually cross cross the pond. Okay? Okay. Or the swamp. Any other character cannot. Okay. So that's the swamp. Now, the rock elements are basically both defensive and offensive elements, meaning a character behind the rock and exactly behind, totally adjacent to it, yeah, just as you placed it, is uh, protected from being um, club, let's say, okay, the opponent's clubs. If you're standing on the rocks, you can throw your clubs farther away. So these are also kind of a tactical element allowing you uh, both, as I said, it's a defensive position and also an offensive position. So these are the rocks and that's the pond. So the way setup goes is each team or player, you place one and you place one tactical element and then you place a caveman. Tactical element, a caveman. Now caveman can be placed up to the third row um, of your portion of the game. These so are the starting positions. One, two, exactly. three, so up until what we have here is the blue row? Sorry? The, uh, the row with the blue rock? I'll explain the symbols, the marking on the side in a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, exactly, to, the, to this blue rock. So you can place them in any configuration you want up to that, uh, up to that row, including that third row. Okay. okay. So that's generally how we set up 
wooden things. You can see the wooden, well, we call them the wells, actually, where you put your action discs and your bumps on the head on the board. So these are marked on the board and you simply uh, place them there. Um, these are like your source of power to your plan, where you stash your uh, action discs, which are red discs, and the uh, little markers, the bump of the head marker, um, which uh, come in use uh, as we play along. Okay, so that's uh, the objective that we kind of uh, went the setup. Um, so this is the basic stuff. So after you set up and you're ready to begin, the game really is a simultaneous game. It runs in a few phases. In a few phases. First, players uh, give movement orders uh, to the clan members using the control panels, exactly, with the black discs. And this is your initial position. So if you have the disc in the middle, of the ninth square, uh, that means it doesn't move, okay? And you're allowed not to move them, obviously, you're allowed to do anything you want. Uh, so now you give your movement orders using using this control panel, and it's really simple, okay? If, let's say, I'm moving the disc um, one square, let's say, to the top, uh, yeah, that means going forward, okay? you take it um, um, two notches down now, means you will go backwards. Exactly, and you can go diagonal and all the variations you have there, exactly, just as you point. Okay? okay. So this is how you tell your caveman where you want it to go. Um, now note that on the meeples themselves, on the caveman, they have a tip on the base, right? So the tip is indicating forward movement. So once you lay them on the board during setup, all your tips should basically point exactly to your opponent's side. Now cavemen can also obviously turn. To indicate the turn, and I'll explain why you need to turn in a second, um, you simply use the black disc okay, on, on the ninth square, but you use the silver side, the other side, Exactly. So this means I'm turning to the right. And if I put the disc on the... If you take it exactly, good. <laughs> we're flowing good. Um, so this means we're turning to the left. Okay, 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. Okay? Now why is that important? Because after you implement orders to all your pavement, the next phase of the game Wait, I'm pausing for a second. So you give movement orders. Next, it's up to you players to decide if you want to activate to activate sorry any of the actions the caveman can take. Okay. So now each caveman can do different stuff. All of them can light a fire, and there are kinds of fires. Okay, this is fire table. So after I give movement orders, I have seven action discs. I decide whether or not to apply an action. Okay, and if I do, I put it, I simply mark it on the panel during this phase. So this means I'm going to light the fire now. Okay? Okay. If I to do that. Uh, note that your actions are count, meaning you have seven actions you can take during the game, so you have to be kind of witty in knowing um, exactly when to use them, find your opponent's weak spots, etc., to get the most out of it. So, after I give movement orders, after I decide whether or not to apply actions, and once, once both players or teams are done, they declare done, and you can no longer touch your panels. Now what you do is you actually toss your clubs, which is basically <laughs> the point of the game, and each caveman has a range within the, within, the, within where they can place their clubs. Okay, now the range is, is uh, described as if we're standing, as the caveman is standing on the board now, three rows, um, it's like a rectangle, okay? Exactly. Three squares by six. So you get like a, okay, exactly. So you decide where you put your club 
question here, you have to dissipate your opponent's moves. So, if I think my opponent is going to go to a certain square, this is where I place my club. Okay? Now, um, the markings on the side of the board, like you mentioned before, the blue, the red rocks, this is an aid uh, to let you uh, visualize that range. Okay? So, if you see my needle now is standing on the if I'm not mistaken, it's green there. Okay? Yes, that's correct. That means that green to be the farthest, um, the farthest it could throw Tossic's uh, club. So it's just a tactical aid to help you visualize your uh, range where you can place the clubs. So after players uh, place their clubs, okay, panels are revealed. And both clubs take a, take a, their movement according to the path. And all the clans move. If actions are made, they are applied. Okay. Okay. And the round is done. Now, uh, okay, and moving into a club area is hit and marked with a bump on the head. Those are the little red things. Yeah. Put it in. On, on top of its head. Oh, and that's what the hole's for. <laughs> so oh, that's cute. Two bumps on the head and your caveman is out of the game. Basically, in a day. <laughs> so, out of the day, okay? Snap and removed from the board. Um, actually, we have a very cool add on that goes with the game that uh, you can mark the place where the cave was, uh, you know, last position. And that square is, you cannot enter that square anymore, we call it a haunted ground. Um, but the game as it is, you simply need to move, remove the achievement from the board. So this is kind of basically the rules, okay? Sure. Obviously we can go into further details about... Uh, oh yes, and you did a fabulous job explaining the rules, Sean. I'm still going to ask 9,000 questions. <laughs> it's what she does best. Let's start with the first one. Uh, it, it'll be progressive, who, that's for sure. Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah, I'm ready to start. Who gets to place their first tactical obstruction? Decide between you guys, say I go first and simply start laying your pieces, okay? Now have in mind that when you play, when you place your pieces, you basically decide on your tactical standings, right? So remember, you hide behind the rocks, and you can climb the rocks, and the rocks are the main element to give you kind of the path you want to follow with your caveman to be most protected, and um, you know, get the most out of them. So, so we. That, Place tactical obstruction, then caveman, tactical obstruction. Tactical caveman, yeah. Okay, so I think in... So the fact that Josh looks the most like a caveman, he should go first. We need rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock. There's two uh, of us yeah, in one of them. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. Bam! Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so Josh goes first. I'll go first. I win. I'm the caveman champion. So where are you placing your first train? What are you placing first? I'm, well, I'm placing a small rock right there. Okay. Because that's about as far uh, as I could reach. Listen, guys, one thing really, this game is designed and intended. You grow with the game. So we're quite sure that after a couple of rounds, you'll get the idea. Okay? All right. It's and the best way to... After a couple of games, you'll get it even better. But as, as much as you play, you get into it and you understand the small variations of the actions, of the placement of the stuff. So just go with the flow, you know, and uh, I'll correct you if I see you're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you want to place first, Dan? The big rock. Uh, uh, you, you put it down. Put it's it down? Up, it's up to you. I trust you. I trust your intuition here. That's a bad idea. Why'd you put it there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think to... about something, okay? I'm just throwing it as you place. You can just go on and place your stuff, but if you place your rocks, let's 
say here at the edge of your territory, it really means that obviously it brings you an advantage, but your opponent can use them as well, right? And really quickly, that's what I mean, because once your opponent gets to the center line, it becomes um, their defensive position. So maybe draw it back a little, okay, <laughs> that's a bit better. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we have to place the caveman. You placed your caveman on the fourth row, Josh. Oh, sorry. Oh, you cheater. So you can Cheat. go up to the third row. Okay. okay. Now okay. another small hint to let it go kind of more smoothly is when you place your caveman, especially if you're playing in a team, and you have your own control panel, your stand. Um, put the order that they stand, let's say from left to right on the board, in correlation to how you uh, uh, place your panels. Now, so it's always left to right, left to right, or right to left. It doesn't matter, but it puts a sense of order in how you see things. Each of the cavemen have their own special abilities. Some of these abilities show up more than once on a card. Could we go through just a quick high level overview of what each of the icon abilities mean? Uh, for example, we know that the one caveman with a bridge icon or a ladder icon means that he can go over or through the swamp, but there are several other icons here. And I think that that's important okay. to maybe understand before we decide where we want to place our cavemen. Okay, we can we can kind of run uh, run through it. So okay. if you want to lift, uh, let's say a panel, and that each yeah. panel, I show you what that means. Okay, this this is uh, the angry guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we call them the brothers. You see, they have they there are two who look a bit exactly. <laughs> These are the runners. You see, they have their foot the footsteps, the footsteps. <laughs> I must say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see they have the footsteps icon. Mm -hmm. These guys are the runners. What it means if you place the action there, they can move two squares at once during a round. Okay. So if you tell him to go, let's say, forward, then it will go forward two squares and not one. Okay? Now the icon next to it is the start of fire icon, and we didn't talk about it earlier when I mentioned the rules, but you, the game comes with three tokens, okay? You have a fire, exactly, so the last figures, they can build the fire. You have a fireball, and you, can, you have the dragon. Now, maybe I'll go through these really quick. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, placing the fire. If you place the fire act exactly like this, first of all, a caveman, you can start a fire, let's say put a caveman next to it, so work that. So you can start a fire anywhere within the eight squares that are around your caveman. Now what a fire does, um, once you place it, if an opponent is trying to move to that space, okay, it cannot, it denies the move, and is being hit with a bump on the head. That's the first thing. Now, a fire lasts for two rounds, and it has a direction, meaning, first of all, it occupies two squares, the square where it stands on, where you place it, and the one that it's pointing to. Exactly. So if you turn, let's say, this fire at 90 degrees, that means you're blocking that square and the one left to it. Okay. okay. So it has a direction and and uh, and the, the force of like two squares. Now it lasts for two rounds, and on the second round, it diminishes and becomes only a one square thing. Okay. Okay. Now, the fire ball, the fire ball, when you place it, so it's occupying that square, and the next round, it's moving one square forward. And again, a caveman going into that place, you mark as a hit. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you got it? Yep. 
You said, okay, so a- after two rounds, it goes from a two square to a one square, and then after that, you said it moves a square. No. The fu- fireball. Oh, the fireball, fireball. icon. Yeah. The I'm fireball like, functions. That's the fireball. Once you place it, so the next round, the token itself moves one square, exactly. And if it hits anything on the way, then it hits. Okay? Perfect. So both of us last two rounds, but they act and perform a bit differently. Now, the dragon thing is unique to the dragon girl, and you can see on the dragon girl's panel, you have the dragon icon, okay? <laughs> and she can talk to the wild, she can call the bird, okay? And what it really means is that if she um, exercises her power, meaning using that action, she can call the bird, you place the token anywhere within, it has like a range also, three squares, okay? Let's say, uh, first of all, you put it on the sacred ground, anywhere on, on, on any of the squares on your sacred uh, space, like okay. last row. And can you put uh, the cave woman? Yeah, Let's absolutely. Say, put, it any, put her anywhere on the board. Let's say here, okay, so you can place the token anywhere within the three squares that are within its range, so it's, yeah, exactly, any one of those three on your sacred ground, let's say here, and what it really means is that you can place two clubs, it's like the dragon is dropping two clubs, so you, when you're doing your club placement, you, it throws two clubs within the range of these three squares and all along the board. So it's a very powerful tool, the dragon. Now obviously you'll need clubs. So you use the dragon when you either have a caveman out of the game, so the club is free, right? Okay, or you can decide that any other caveman is not dropping the club and use its club um, to use by the dragon. Okay, so the dragon is a really powerful tool offensively. Um, so these are the icons, the dragon, the fire, and the fireball, which are also tokens. Now other actions, we said we have the runners, right. we have the guy who can cross the, the swamp. Um, you'll see there's, um, show me another, <coughs> thank you, this is a double shot. Meaning this guy can throw uh, two clubs at once, okay? Again, you need a spare club or or use someone else's club. And this is Big Mama, and Big Mama has a really kind of strong uh, wrist. And this action means if you hit a pavement, even once, it's out of the game. Oh! So it's like, yeah. It's uh, so each each character has its own thing, okay? So and you decide when to apply it. And I haven't said it before, but you can exercise each one once you use it. And actually, ah, we forgot the healer. One second. But every time you use an action on any of the uh, panels, once the action is exercised and the turn, the round is done, you flip the red uh, disc. And it's it's done. You cannot use it anymore. Okay. Oh, it's only and once per game. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and you have a limited have number over of over and over and over and over again. So you have to calculate your moves. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so and you have a limited number of the red. To- okay. You have a limited number of the red tokens as well. You could only use seven of them throughout the game as well. Exactly. Correct. Exactly. So you're not going to be able so to use everybody's exactly. powers. Yeah, you have to choose what you're doing. So the healer, what it can do, uh, this guy can cure one of your cavemen. You have a hit caveman and you exercise the healing action, then the bump on the head is removed and your caveman is as new. And uh, maybe we'll go into it of how you exercise that action as we have to go into the game. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. So these are 
Yeah, and then we can go on with uh, basically set, no? Yeah. So which one? Uh, the set, guys, come on. <laughs> which one do you want to place next? We want to go from left to right. Yeah, well, it doesn't mean we have to place from left to right. No. Um, I want to take one of the, the twins there, the brothers. I'm going to take Angry Guy. And okay. I'm going to put him... I'm going to put him all the way to the side here. Josh? Um... Thanks, friend. <laughs> um... So he put, a, he put the swamp directly in front of me just to give me a hard time so that I can't run too straight over it. Mm-hmm. So should we then... Uh, that's completely up to you. I'm going to let you choose that, Anne. So remember, okay. the swamp's impassable by both teams, yep. uh, unless you use your one-time ability to, to cross to over cross it. it. And it directly teleports you to the other side, but in a straight line. You can't go diagonally across it. Okay. Your turn. So, Josh, it's your turn to place a caveman now. Hurry up, Joshy Poo. Um, this is way too much thought. Don't, Which one don't know what next? to do. I'm going to put a... Uh... Okay, you're gonna put the the doctor there. That's so, not the doctor. What? That's not the healer. No, no, he's not the doctor. He's just he's just the the healer is the old guy. No, no, I'm joking with him. Oh. Uh, I want to put her big mama there. Uh, that's the fourth that's row. That's too far. Nice try though. Thanks, I tried. Okay, so you put big mama there, Josh. You're putting the terrain next. So what are you gonna place? Okay. Uh, I want to take one of the small rocks and I'm going to put it down right here. I am going to... Okay. Ooh. Uh, so I'm going to okay, take... Just, is it, because he did that, I'll just mention one more kind of uh, the rock tool. Yeah. If you're standing on the rock mount, you can throw um, one roll to the distance further. So it's not a three by six range, it's a three by seven range, okay? Yep. So that's the advantage you get when standing on the... So that's and guys, if you, get, if you can get a little angle to the caveman so we also see them because of the, the position. Absolutely. Just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so and what I'm going to suggest here, and let me know if you uh, you don't agree with this, is I want to take maybe this guy with his ability and stand him up on the rock that's, so he can... That's a good idea. Okay, good. I'm not crazy then. I mean, you are, but I'll give you that. All right, so Josh, your turn. Terrain time. Whatever shall you do? You have, you have rocks. What are you doing? I'm rocking your world. <laughs> Oh, oh. I put that there. Okay. So, Our turn? Yeah, and I'm going to let you, uh, what do you want to put? Give it. Back to me. Uh, let's put one there. So, so not should... only does uh, Big Mama now get the protection from the rock, she can't get hit. However, she can't throw any passage. You can only hit directly on top of the rock. But she can get up on what? top of the rock, right? That's correct. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Oh. Once you're on the rock, uh, you cannot throw. You cannot throw your club. So that's the downside of hiding. Okay. Don't be a coward, Anne. I I wanted to okay, be able okay. to get out. Okay. Oh, she's thinking ahead. Uh, <laughs> just did the job. Don't get back into a corner, Anne. <laughs> so, Josh, I think it's your turn now, right? Yeah. Let's uh. Okay, he's hiding down there. Yep. Is that that's one of his runners, I believe? No, no, that's no, not it's a runner. Not. That's the the lake that's crossing. The lake guy. That's interesting. Is it? So put yeah. your pond guy next to the pond, guys. Yeah, I think that's a good move. So let's uh, let's okay. do let's do that. We could put him over there. We'll give him a little rotation so you can see him, uh, Joshua. Whatever shall you do? I have faith in you to mess up royally. <laughs> That's interesting. 
All right, so Anne, we get to place a terrain now. We have a big rock and a small rock left. Which one would you like to place? I think maybe, what do we say about putting the large rock here so that maybe they can throw from here because yellow to yellow is here. Right, so then you'd be able to throw all the way into the home row as well. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. No? I like it. Okay. Okay. So I think we got to start leaving some people back for defense. That's going to be my next suggestion. Sounds good. So uh, how about... I don't want to lose her. Just because that ability... The dragon ability? Is fantastic from what it sounds like. So, so. he's definitely the defensive guy. Right, and he seems to be putting all of his uh, eggs in <coughs> one basket over here. Yeah, guys, come on. Where, where is your strategic thought? What's going on here? <laughs> Like you're concentrating all of your efforts in, in one person. He might be. And the other side of the board is going to be a run through. Josh might uh, might be trying to lure us into that. So what do you what do you think about putting our our dragon on the the far side there? That works. Okay. So then, if we put her over here, then she could hit that entire section. With the dragon. Of, yeah, I like that. Okay. I mean, it's a one-time thing, but it's very powerful. What do you got, Josh? Uh, rock time for me? Rock time. Interesting. So we've got one more single rock. Uh, what do you think, Ann? Maybe here? Interesting. That's his way of saying he hates your strategy. I, know. I don't know. I mean, that's up to you. No, it's, <laughs> it's interesting, and Maybe you have something different in your mind than I do. No, by all means. Where would you like to put the small rock? Uh, where, where did you have it? You nope. got it over here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm definitely not putting it there. <laughs> that's what I thought. Um, how about... Let's put one... Let's put one over here. Okay. Josh, how about you? You get some cavemen left. Okay, and then we've got some cavemen left. We've got one of the runners, and Eesh. then we got our, our medicine man. Our runner should be on the far side of the board. You think so? Yeah, I do. Okay. I have faith in you. I don't know why, but I do. That's silly for you. Did you place your last one? Yes, he did. Yes. Okay, so we're placing our last one. It's our, it's our witch doctor here. So where do you want to place him? I feel like he man? should fall back, but like here. Access the middle of the board. I would like to point out that he would be in range of the guy on the rock if we started him there. If we started ah. him a spot, a spot oh. back. Okay, let's start him a spot, a spot back. Okay. I think we're safe then. Look, Are we? You have one row. They're all in the same row. Yeah, he started all of his on the same row. What? He's not very creative. <laughs> Go. Okay, so now we're going to be doing our first, uh, the secret movement phase. Uh, we're going to... So the game. Look at yours. So the game does come with panels. That you can vertically stand them up. And I would like to point out that Ed's made possible by the fact that these cards have a really nifty magnet in them. So these yes. are stuck to the board, so you can hold them vertically, and it doesn't fall off. So that, that's pretty cool. I like that. Except, Don't shake it that hard. I mean, they're not meant for that, and you're not supposed to use it like a shake. Four-year-old? What are you doing? I, did you not miss? What no, 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 you don't need any. <laughs> Left foot. You, you are now disabled, <laughs> and you can't move. Get him out of Okay, so Anne, let's, yes. uh, let's do our little planning phase here. Say how we want to move about the board. Remember, we can do forward, backward, left, right, diagonally, and then we can also declare any actions we want, but we only have seven actions right. to do. So, uh, are you arranging them by left to right order? Uh, I'm trying to. Oh, I'm very good. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. That wasn't right. So as I'm doing this, what kind of strategy? Close your ears. Close your ears and your <laughs> eyes. Well, the nice thing here about this side is we can move both of these cavemen up, and then he won't be able to hit them because this is a protected space here. Okay, so then we're thinking that and that? Yeah, well, that that does look like a good idea. Um, I do want to let you guys know that you are seeing us futz around with the stands that came with just the, the early prototype version of the game. 
And with the Kickstarter version, these are going to be even sturdier. So I'm thinking with this guy, yeah. about Lincoln, and yeah, that we should. Okay, guys. So now, now basically, what you need to do is try to go figure by figure, and uh, caveman by caveman, and decide on their movements. Okay. Sounds good. And just swap tip. I, I think at this stage, you better kind of save your actions and see how the game develops. Okay. Uh, but the, at the initial. Uh, the initial bit, then the beginning of the game, the best thing is to try and get at some kind of advantage. And by advantage, I mean, you know, try and hit your opponent's caveman uh, once, twice, three times, develop an advantage and, you know, uh, exercise it later. So basically now, you're just giving your movement orders uh, or actions to your cave. Okay? Okay, so those are fine and set up. What do we... I think we should... that. Okay. Uh, uh, then we've got that one there, which I think... So what we're doing is we have all of our cavemen set up, and Matt and I are kind of shifting around the black movement uh, tokens so that we can... Get hit by my clubs? Secretly. Get hit by my clubs. What's going on with your cavemen? Um, they're all taking a nap out. now because you guys take forever to figure out where you're moving to. Okay. We're, we're trying to figure it out. And then uh, I think that... I won't, I won't, uh, I'm just giving my suggestions here. This isn't, you know, required. Matt's using all seven red actions on the first turn. Good? Well... Sorry? Do we want to do that? Oh, no, no, she's, she's thinking. Do you want to do that? Uh, this is, guys, the, the game is designed that, that you know, you work in motion. So we really wanted to, to people to start playing and, and figure things out as they go. You, so uh, there will be a lot of thought down the road, but, yeah, I mean, you can just flow with it right now uh, because even most of your, uh, of your cavemen are out of range or or behind rocks, uh, so as you, you'll get the hang of it immediately. Okay, so I think that we have decided what we want to do with our cavemen, so do we all, what do we, the next step is to... Yeah. We're going to so check our clubs. Once, once you finish, you declare done, and when both players declare done, okay, mm -hmm. you basically, if you place a token, like a fire or anything, which is not relevant at the point, then you do it now, and if not, then you're now you're throwing your clubs. Okay, once both teams declare done, you go to the throwing the clubs phase. Okay, so we're done. Have, did you okay. declare any fire? Any no, actions? Not declare any actions. Okay, so we have we are declaring two actions. Okay, use up all your actions now. At the yeah. Beginning. Yeah. Okay, so you're done. Now you're throwing your clubs. Now what you're trying to do is like anticipate your opponent's moves, right? So you place, you, if you go ahead and play Charo, I think they're declaring actions. Yeah, they declared so actions. Did you declare an action already? Yes. Yeah, we, we declared an action. Good for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, it, so this would be the time to declare there. Okay, so do we show him the card with the movement? Okay, that's... What? That's no, 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 you don't show each other card. 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 You don't show each Probably those are not the actions you're taking at this point. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start placing ours. And this is a simultaneous action thing. We're all going to be placing them together, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. So you and Josh, you do it together. You place your clubs, he places his. So do our clubs don't have to go in a straight line? You can go. You can pick anywhere you want within the range of three by six. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we're going color to color yeah. there, so... Josh, I see you, I see you counting squares. Can you I, just, uh... Yeah, I realized one of my guys was standing on one of them. 
And then I realized, um... So you're cheating. I wasn't cheating. I just... So I can't throw this... I can't throw it here, but I can still throw yes, it here. Yes, okay. Daddy, no, you can't throw. Oh. You can throw it freely because it's not exactly behind the rock. It has no limitation. Throwing a club has a parabolic uh, motion, so it can go over the rocks, but not if you're standing directly behind the rock. So. Now this guy on top of the rock can throw one further if you want. Okay? I don't want to. This guy can't throw anything because he's behind. Right. Hmm. Okay, the, I see a, an orange club which is right behind the rock of Josh's oh, guy. You're right. And you cannot place a club there. Okay. So let's let's put it over over here then. Okay. Okay, so and we got a few more here. Uh, she can't throw a club. Right. He can, but it's only orange to orange, so he's only gonna be able to throw it into uh, this yeah. row here. So where's one of his fast dudes? We'll put one in front of them if, if uh, possible. Here and here. Okay, so let's put it on the orange row there. No, I said I didn't use any action, so. That's true, that's true. Uh, and then we've got these last two here. She's in the gray row or yeah, so that's that's as far as she's going to be able to go. She's not effective, right? Right. I mean, you can place the club, but nobody can go up there yet. And then finally, there's that guy there. So how about we put uh, put that club? What, which one is he on? He's on green, so let's put it on green. That works for me. Okay. So now we okay. placed all of our clubs. We did all of our actions that we had, and now we're so going now to... You, um... Now you uh, expose your panels and you simply move all your cavemen um, accordingly. And if you took an action, then you apply it. Let's say if you go the runners, if they run, so you move two squares, etc. All right, so if so, the runner uh, runs into a club on his first turn, what happens? Well, he moved diagonally. Yeah. You, you can introduce the bumps on the head, the little red bumps on the head. All right, if actually... You move, if you move to a club square already, then you're marked with a bump on the head, you got hit. Okay, so I noticed that we actually put him diagonally. So he's going to run there and he moves two spaces in the same direction, correct? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, and then so he's going to move on, on top of the rock there. Perfect. Okay, so then we have our... Uh, the, the dino girl there. She's going to yep. move in that direction. Yeah. Then we've got Big Mama who's standing pat. We've got the doctor who's moving one space to the left as well. Then we've got the club throwing guy. He threw two clubs, uh, which is why we had this mess over here. I totally missed my guy. Good. Uh, and he's <laughs> staying put. Then we have... Beth, just, uh, just a reminder to flip over the action token once you're done with it. So you don't use it the next turn. Yep. Right. So yeah, so we flipped it over silver to side. silver. Perfect. And then, we, then moved, he got his and we moved everyone up. And so no one got hit, it looks like. Okay. No hits. You move to the second round. So now you collect your clubs. Okay? You collect your clubs from the board and go to the second round. Are those clubs cool or what? <laughs> they, they are <laughs> super cool. All right. So second round, let's let's try to do this a little faster because Josh got had his beat that time, man. Okay. So how about you take? Let's try this out. You take the left three. Yeah. I'll take the right four, and we'll we'll act independently unless we want to use an action. Then we can point and grunt just like our caveman brother and do. Okay. Point and grunt. Ugh. There. So one. Yeah, I think, okay, I think. Whoa. I think I'm happy with what I've chosen. Okay, I'm. You're you're beating me then. The Anne's making a definitive decision. Shush, or I'll change my mind. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good. Okay, I think I'm good as well. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we each say that we're done. Done. Not done yet. So. What? Done. No, That's we're nice. we're done. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> pressure is on. Are you, are you done yet? Uh, what's done? 
<laughs> it's what you're you not, apparently. Giving you your movement orders and activating one. Oh, he just went and grabbed for the red action Ooh, token. Oh, that's, that's scary. That's he's mildly doing, terrifying. He's doing an action. Burger clubs. I'm done. Okay. So, Anne, where are you throwing your... Are we declaring any fireballs on either side? No. Oh. I'm not. Okay. Um, so, th- okay. So, six by three. So, six across and then anywhere, uh, one three, left, one right? Three across, one, two, three. Yeah. And then six straight in front of you. Okay. So, then it goes color to color. So, if, you go, if you're on the blue, it's going to go to the blue space. Okay. And I can't throw behind the truck, right? That's correct. That's correct. He can't can. throw one, two. Cheater, cheater. I keep doing Pumpkin that. Pumpkin eater. I'm trying to figure out what I was doing here. I don't know what you're doing. Um, he can't throw. Hmm. I have two very large people in front of me. Okay. Sorry about that, Ann. Sorry, okay. not sorry. Five. Must I use the six? No, no, it's up, no, to no. Six. up to up six. six. Up to six. Okay. So that's ineffective. And then he is going to throw. I can throw on top of the rock, right? Indeed, you can. Not if you're behind the rock. Oh, he can't throw once because he's yeah. behind me. Okay. Okay, so I've placed all my clubs, all, all the ones that I can. That's going to be, she's ineffective and she can only throw directly in front of her. So I can't use those two clubs, essentially. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're going to reveal our clubs. I mean, our, our movements there. Okay. And we're gonna resolve the actions. I got a buck. Oh, Anne. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Anne, Ben, can you show us the little bump for the bump? Yeah, okay, so. Not is that the, uh, the climber guy uh, on Matt and Anne's team was hit and is getting now a bump on the head. <laughs> <laughs> the little red bump is ridiculously adorable. Yeah. Okay. I moved. Oh, I didn't move yet. So you can blame me. I actually got a bonk too. So. Oh, I don't feel so bad anymore. Uh, you should. Yeah. You should. Should you take any? What's a bonk? Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> so Josh and I are having a Mexican standoff over there. Okay. Okay, now one, one kind of... Um, um, again, going back to the rules a bit. If, if two cavemen are trying to go to the same place, once and none of them move okay okay so this is also if you think about it it's also kind of a tactical feature which you can use i mean if you can deny someone to move somewhere then you know where it's going to be meaning staying in place meaning you can hit right so just have to keep it in mind Guys, okay i will destroy you is that what that means, <laughs> That's what that means. Hmm. All right, so. Okay. So, Josh, you can collect your clubs. Oh, yeah. I can have to look. Okay, so. And I feel like we're going to be doing some actions or something. I don't know. I feel like we might. Sh- we should be doing some actions. I feel like we should be doing some actions. I feel like you should be doing some stuff and also some things. Stuff and things, yes, yes. Okay, so. Uh, Anne. Yes. I want to do this. Okay. Okay. All right. Eh. Okay. What are you doing with these ones? This is what I'm going to do. Okay. This is really what I like so much about playing in, in teams, is the little clandestine kind of uh, planning and, and scheming. Uh, Josh is feeling left out, but if, if he would have a partner, then he would be doing the same thing. Oh, and, and there's a lot of there's, there's a, lot a reason of, I'm uh, winning. Poker face <laughs> and uh, a little bit of uh, reading your opponent uh, as far as uh, knowing who's <laughs> out there. Yeah. So it's it becomes really it's green. Wrong, it's wrong color. I don't care. Okay. So I think well, I I'm done. How about you, Anne? I'm done. Josh. Oh, you were too busy joking around to, to do um. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing some more actions there. I don't know if I should be worried or not with Josh. Probably should. Probably. Probably. You done, Josh? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. 
sure? So are we taking any actions? I am. So, um, yeah, you are. So I'm going to do that now. So I am going to put a, a fire token on you right there. Okay. All right, good job. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Matt, Matt, just make sure that you're... Uh, oh, remember that the tip of the fire indicates the second square it's sitting. Yeah, so, yep. do you, so want it, you want it to go this way, right? That is correct. Okay. So, okay, excellent. All okay. right, so that's the one action I'm taking. So now it's club tossing time, right? It's club tossing time. Club tossing time. Bam. Okay, so then we're going to do blue to blue on that one. Can I toss two clubs in the same spot? Yeah. I both hit, then uh, they both hurt. Okay, so she's gray, so is any Oh, I can actually be useful here. Uh, so... Oh, I see. I see what you did there. What? <laughs> what, did you, what did you do? I uh, probably killed him. That's a lot of. Right, Matt? Uh, sure. Right, he did it. I might have not. He did it. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we expose our cards and we right. resolve our move actions here. However. He did kill this one. Oh, again. so you got a bonk on the head. It's my second one. Oh, you got another one? I got another one. Good job, Ann. You yeah, not, for, not only he got a bump on the head there, okay, but he, can, he cannot exercise the movement. He has to go back to where he stood. You cannot go through the fire. Oh, you can't even go up there, Josh. Okay, okay that's fine. <laughs> so that I get a bump on the head. Yeah, and this one is marked with a bump on the head, and okay. it's taking place. That's fine. And your other one went through the fire. The he was started in the fire, and then he moved out of it. Ah, sorry. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> he did jump out of that. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's an invasive uh, tactics there. Uh, I, I did get my second bump on the head, too. So, I think uh, Josh, Josh is doing pretty good. You have um, a bump on the head to resolve. I have one bump on the head to resolve. I did not move my... Hit him back. Oh, so he got two bumps on the head. I got two yeah. bumps on the head. Okay. I just put two of your guys to sleep. We were giving him an advantage because he needs it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I... Oh, he's, oh, wait. He's off the... Yeah, he's I forgot to move this guy. You lost the cave, my guy? Oh, you lost the cave. You lost two cave, man. You lost two? So... You lost two cave, man. Right, what's going on here? Don't rub it okay. in. <laughs> Josh, take your clubs. Get your clubs out of here. Okay. So. Uh, yes, Matt. Good there. Let's do just, that. Uh, Josh, can you, uh, uh, Matt, sorry, can you flip that fire now that uh, it's burned one turn? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Then, well, I think. I think that's what I want to do. Okay. I'm, I, I trust you. I don't know why I trust you. It's sad. Uh, but sure I trust no. you. You shouldn't you do should. that. It's a, bad, it's a big mistake. Big mistake. Okay. I think I'm good. We gotta get rid of those ones. Uh, can I give you a kind of small advice just so you get the, the hang of it? Sure. sure. You, it's kind of running through your, uh, let's call it your left flank or your right flank. Yeah. So you better think about start turning some caveman if you want him to be in your loving range, right? And you do. And he's talking about the far side of the board. Correct. Like the healer. You're not. Where's his. It's right here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's dead. Um, 
I don't think you need to worry about that. Well. I think I like your original plan that you had. Just say I'm just saying. All right. How's that? I like it. Okay. Okay, right. so we're done. You use any actions? I'm done also. No, we're not using any actions. All right. Let's start some clubs. You don't have to tell it. You don't have to tell each other if you're using actions or not. You can keep it a secret. Okay. <laughs> So the clubs that we throw, uh, the range on them, it's also in the row that they're standing on, correct? Or is it the row starting in front of them? Start on them. Okay. Hmm. Well, why not? And that's on gray, so it's going to go to gray and gray. Is there so let's let's throw this over that's yellow oh, Where, how are you throwing that oh that is yellow from back here that's off a row is it yes it is oh it sure is okay sorry about that so you cannot do that i see that now you cheater um oh. you can't put it on the rock next to him yeah you could put it here you want to. No, I can't because I there's. Like where he put his club. I could put it here. You could. Yes. Um, I don't think I want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it here. And Why? Because that's his uh, double movement guy. So if he double moves, oh, he's not gonna be able to double move. You already double moved. Yeah, I already double moved. Oh, did moved you? Both my characters. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I I'll even give you that tidbit. Okay. So that doesn't make sense then. Um, well, there's nothing I could really do there except for throw it on top of the fire. That's not going to really help. Nope. There's nothing I could do that's going to hit any of your characters with that one there. Uh, so I'm trying to find my last character. So they're going to throw uh, right here. No, that's why I'm going to throw it here. And Josh, did you place all your clubs? You don't need to throw three clubs at the guy. Um, that's all I really have to throw, because like three of my guys can't really throw clubs at the moment. Okay. Matt and Anne, think well, because, you know, he's concentrating all his cable, like in this uh, side. Josh, I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> I'm ruining your plan here. You're, you're fine. <laughs> think about your dragon girl, for instance. She could really, you know, have an impact, but she's out of range of these guys. So think how you can... Put the dragon in range. I got you. Just throwing thoughts in the air, helping you guys. Okay, so now we resolve our movements. Correct, Amundo. So he is getting a bonk in the head. Oh, you you got a bonk in the head, Anne. Yeah. You should stop that. <laughs> Okay, so I did rotate my character here. I did rotate two of my characters. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. But you should have rotated the one that uh, moved forward, I think, man. No, they both, they didn't move anywhere. They just rotated. So you got one bonk? Yeah, I got one bonk. Hmm. Um, which is, like, I can't see the face. As they say, sometimes the... The best uh, defensive uh, is an offensive, right? Defense. Exactly. So basically what Matt did, if you can show them, you move the head into open territory, right, with this guy, and then the big mama of Josh, she's already hit with a pump, so that's why he had to turn and, uh, and go on, on and defend his territory. Yeah. Otherwise, he could have uh, tried to just, uh, you know, run through to the end. And meet the driveway and see how that goes up. Okay. Alright. Well, I get my clubs. Go get your clubs, Josh. And now, where do I want to go? Now you can remove the fire altogether. Oh, yeah. Fire's gone. Okay. And 
And with your permission, yeah, I'm going to use one of the, the things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you move the dragon lady over? I did. Okay. Uh, and then well, let's move him over here. I think that'll be good. No, that way. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, I think I'm ready with mine. How about you, Anne? I think that I am... Undecided? Ready? Okay, that works. Yeah. All right, so... When do I place the, the dragon token? If you will. When is the declaration of done? Okay. Maybe I'm just trying to throw Josh off there. Do what you want. I will do what I want. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm fine with it. Hmm. Okay. You're done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So now I'm going to place the dragon token, and I get to place it in any one of these row or in the space directly behind her, or in any yeah. of. Any of the three. This one or the one to the right or the one to the left. Okay. And you will be able to throw your clubs anywhere within, um, like, uh, uh, a rectangle of width of three squares of the token and all, or, all along the board. Part of the same space she's on? No, this is on the space adjacent to her. So it's three, it's one on either side of that token. Uh, okay. Do I have her on? I'm sorry. Yeah, you had her like on a line. Sorry so about that. Confused. So yeah, the the space is there, so it's going to be able to do all three of these straight up the board. Okay. So now it's club toss in time. You will be able to drop two clubs. Yes, I like it. Yeah, and is that in addition to her regular club toss or no? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So let's let's try this. Out. Does that? Does the dragon club toss count, uh, can that go behind rocks because it's being dropped from above, or...? Yes, you can. I like you it. Can. You can place them anywhere you want within the ring. I get all the clubs. Yep, you get all the clubs. Okay, and then this one is going to throw a club right here. We placed all our clubs? Uh, yes. I No, I'm sorry, I did not. I think I should have one more, no? Well, we're, I'm, I'm out. Did you... One, two... Three. He's asking if you're sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I had two. You placed this one? No. I don't remember placing that one, so... That I might have placed that one by... Because I might Josh's have is right here. Right here. Uh, okay. okay. So it was, it was over here, if you want to put it back. Josh stole one of our clubs. It's very rude of you, Josh. I don't appreciate it. So when you're facing sideways, it's still the six by three rectangle, but uh, long ways across the board then. Yeah. Okay. Five, six. So I'm going to throw that over here. It doesn't really do anything, but okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to show off our movements and resolve them. I got a bonk. And... Man, I'm so disappointed. He keeps on coming after me. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, you're too much damage. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> when did this get here? I just I when I was playing with him. And he's turning. It was over here, and then you you are such a butthead. I think he's a cheater. <laughs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Okay, whoops. That stuck to my finger, and then. You kill my dragon girl. Yes. I would like, like you know, I've, I've earned my worth back because I may have taken one bonk, but I single-handedly took out the dragon girl. Okay. So nothing hit any of Josh's characters on this side of the board. Just, just the one over here. Good job, Ann. You did better than I did. Okay. Collect our clubs. Do you want my clubs, Matt? No. You stole one of mine. I don't like you anymore. Okay, so at least we didn't have anyone die this time, or get knocked out, That's dazed. True. Uh, okay, so... Did you, you, 
With the dragon, you didn't hit anything? No, I didn't. <sighs> okay. Well, I think one of your uh, cavemen turned around. One of your runners now. Oh. Yep, it sure yeah. did. Thank you. Okay, I would like to do this. Go for it. Okay. Okay, so I got that. I got that. And I got that. I think I'm good. Now we have two more actions left after this. Just letting you know. Okay. All right, I think. Should I do this or this? Uh, the first one. Okay. Yeah. I, th I think you should do this. Okay. Just saying. Okay. Okay. So I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Josh, how about you? Um, I need a, another minute. Oh, you're you going to steal some more of my clubs? Is that what you're doing? I might. Yeah. I mean, what, what else do you do with clubs? I mean, besides steal them. Oh, she's dead. I can't do anything with her. Yeah. Cheater. So. <laughs> were you strategizing how you were going to use the dragon? Because it will make me feel so happy. No. I, no, I, just I'm tell fine. me yes. I'm fine without my dragon. Don't you have stuff to do? I'm done. Okay, you're done now? Now yeah. you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so uh, are we declaring any actions? Are, are you no. putting anything on the board over there? No, I'm not putting anything on okay, the board. Okay, so then we are going to toss some clubs. Okay. So I got mine, you got yours, Anne. So that goes one, two, three, four, five, six. I got they're all the way down there, so I'm gonna do that. I'll throw And you can't place, you cannot place a club behind the rock there. Forgot. Oh, Anne. Oh, Anne. Whatever are, will we do with you? Okay, let's well, gonna go up on the rock. Then he is on a rock, so I can throw, I think all the way to the end of the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, but I can run, oh man. Okay. You're closing up on these runners, huh? We're trying. We're trying. We're tempting. <laughs> See if I could get him to get him to work something. Oh god, okay. So Josh, did you place everything? Yep. Okay, so let's reveal and do our movements. Kaplow. Kaplow. So I'm gonna move forward one square here. I'm gonna move, oh look at that, I'm okay. And then <laughs> I'll move one more. Oh, I'm okay again. <gasps> did you go into a bonk thing? Josh got you double bonk! Oh, wow. That was sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double hit. Oh! Trans! Oh! oh. Especially on Josh's side. <laughs> All right. We 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 both have one. No, we I, we have two people without head bonks. Josh has one. Person? He only has one that's bonk free. I remind you, that's a good time to use your healer guide. You can heal way, anyone. Just to make it clear, um, the healer can heal anyone of the caveman that was hit and has a bump on the head. Which at the end of which, at, when the turn after movements is in a square anywhere adjacent to it, like anywhere in the eight squares uh, next to it. Okay. So, so I need to teleport my healer across the board. Yes, you will have to. You have to have them uh, meet uh, in order to heal. I think it's a really good thing that Josh kept his healer all the way on the far side of the board by himself then, so he can't heal his characters, right, Josh? I can see that. Maybe, maybe, we can be a, maybe we can be lenient in this first game, no. and you guys can decide no. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we're brutal. <laughs> so they have to meet, they have to be adjacent? Yes. Okay. They have to be buddies, yeah. they have to be friends. Yeah, but Josh, Josh is okay. He can 
people behind the rock and uh, they can meet behind the rocks, so they'll be okay. Now don't help him out. <laughs> no, he's alone. He's all alone. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't know. And I'm happy. I'm happy there. Okay. That's that's good to hear. I'm so proud of you, Anne. Okay. Um, I saw a, a T. Yep, yeah, this one right here is yours. <gasps> okay, so Anne, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of these. I'm just telling you, I'm not asking. <laughs> just FYI. Just FYI. In case you're wondering, that's good. This is what's happening. Yeah, and then that's going to move there. Mm, yes, and then that's going to move. Yep, that's good with me. Okay, I am done. I'm done. Slowpoke over there, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Are you giving him some tips and pointers, Ann? I am. Okay, I'm, that's, that's good. Just look up. Now, Josh, remember, you still have a bunch of actions left. I see three of them left for you, right? I, I, I don't know. I got, I got actions aplenty. He's got actions and gizmos aplenty? Yep. Okay. So, gizmos and what's with some more? It's not sugar water. All right, so I am doing an action uh, with my Dragon Girl Hill. I'm going to shoot a fireball. So I'm going to put that right there. Okay. So now we get to toss our clubs. Clubs! And I purposely gave you... A cup in which you can see the color of the water. Because <laughs> Anne has a tendency to not put the tea bag inside yeah. of the tea. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually remember. Okay, and that's that's my characters. I'm good. No, oh, no, that's not all my characters. So I'm not good. Interesting. And your forehead's cut off. I'm just letting you know there. It's a five head. Not anymore. Much. And now it's a forehead. It's the quickest plastic surgery ever. Oh goodness. You got a lot of clubs there, Josh. Ooh. Fancy. All right. All right, all we right. all good? Okay. No, so now we're gonna resolve. Now I've used my running action. But there's a club in front of me. Do I run past the club? Or do I take the bonk from the club? No, you run past the club. Ha 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 ha! 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 We done did it. We done did it. Oh, I really was hoping you were gonna stay. Healed my eye. You use the healing action. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Just rotate that a little bit so it's easier to see. I'm, All right. I'm hiding back here with the the dragon girl. Oh, we've resolved all of our clubs. Yep. Yep. Okay. Collect. The fireball move? Uh, it moves now, so it's going to go one space forward. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do our planning phase again. Did you take a snapshot of my belly in the camera? Is that what you <laughs> So let's uh, you <laughs> do our action there. Action news one. Uh, now you can move the fireball one square. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I just moved it forward one. Three, three minutes? Ah, okay. So flip it. Oh, okay. Oh, smaller fireball. Hmm. What do you think about that? E no. Wait, what are you... What are you pointing at? Just the... Oh, those. Oh yeah, because you used those already. Okay, yeah. I was I was mildly confused. Um, I think that's a great idea. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay. Am I filling the rest of the, the class? 
No. Because that would be telling Josh. And I don't like the idea to do that. I really thought I was going to die. I'm probably going to die this time. Probably. Probably. But it'll be funny. It'll be fun. Okay, I'm ready. I'm done. Should I do that instead? No. Okay. Definitely not. Okay. And I'll tell you why in a second. He's got a lot of cavemen. He does, but you have to realize... Are you done, Josh? Yeah. You have to realize the direction he's facing, and that that only has a range of six, so he can't actually club anything here. Ah! Yeah. What he could do, though... But he's got he's, the two he, other He could make guys. a fire there, which he might have. That would have been a smart move. That would have been a very smart move. Do you have anything to put out on the board, Josh? On that note... I do! <laughs> <laughs> There's a fire going there. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, wait a second. I, I knew I should have. You should have. And you and told me no! Don't listen Where's to me. Where's the other part of it, man? You, that's your mistake, is listening to me. It is. I don't want to put this. You want to put it in the lake? <laughs> that's not the lake. Oh, wait. Okay. So now we're gonna throw our clubs. It's like chess, you already put it down. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna throw our clubs. Go clubbing. Ince, 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 ince. Can I toss into here? Into the same spot as me? This, the here, the here. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can. Or, but I can, and I can toss onto the rock. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna to toss onto the rock with him, and onto the space with him. Fish. Josh is so Fish. happy to be tossing people onto rocks. A knight at the Roxbury. Okay, oh, and this guy isn't really gonna hit anything, so I'm not gonna bother throwing a club. And uh, this guy can't really. I mean, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna throw a club. There. Okay. So I guess you're not going into that fire. No, no, I'm not. Ah. So resolve. Yep. Resolve. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I took a bonk, and that's my second head bonk. My my uh, my head bump. In the and I'm out. I also got caught up in the afterburn of the fire, and I am out. Okay. So this is this is mildly problematic. Mildly problematic. I didn't take any box. Just mildly, just mildly problematic. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. That turn wasn't too great for us, Anne. No, no, we were. I think you know we got a little um, you too got confident. A little yeah, I got a little too overconfident in the last turn. Indeed. Right. How many actions do you guys have left? Uh, we have one. All right, so we both have one action left. Indeed. Uh, and you have how many came in left? Three. Three? Three? To my five. five. Yeah. Good job. Oh, wow. Where did they... We have two of them at full health. Pretty you substantial have two difference. Listen. Listen, Nicole. <laughs> I don't appreciate this. <laughs> you don't appreciate the truth? No. The truth hurts. The truth shall set you free. I don't know about all that. Okay. <laughs> so. So I'm going to do that. Then Matt, you gonna, I think you're gonna remove your fireball though. Ah, yes, I yes. can. Okay. So what are you doing, Anne? That. Okay. Okay. Josh, is trying to charge. Trying to charge ahead. Yeah. That's... How many red you have, uh, How many are there? We only one. have one, unfortunately. We both have one. Wow. Oh. So that's the... I, I'm done. And how about you? I'm done. Josh? I'm working on it. 
Josh is going to decide to move all of his cavemen back towards his home base because he's scared. Right? Or that. Scaredy pants. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, so we're not using any actions. Neither am I. And we're going to we're gonna throw some clubs now. Yeah. Let's go clubbing. This guy's going to throw one here. Throw that there. And then I'm going to throw... Let's see. Uh, well, I am uh, there. <laughs> I think you missed a couple spaces. Uh, that's all I can throw at, so what's everything I'm throwing? I'm just gonna... So that's our three clubs that we have. So Josh, you placed all yours? Yeah, I placed all mine. I only okay, have three I can so throw. let's resolve. Does that make any sense? Woo! So I, I'm gonna scoot over this way. Oh, Anne, did you, did you get hurt or something? I am out. Forever? Forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever. And I don't think you're good at this game. I don't think you're good at this game. <laughs> at least our tokens go away. All right, so it's my two to Josh's five. Over here. Yep. This is, this is problematic. Systematic. Hydromatic. Nicole, can you do something about that? Let's see. I think I'm okay with that. And then, yeah. That shall be the end of my turn. Josh, how about you? Are you done yet? I'm good. Okay, Let's so are go. you doing any actions? Nope. Me neither. Let's throw some clubs. Well, actually, I you could still be in the game. Just take one of his characters. I... I don't know if I want her input at this point. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. No, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. That's my two clubs. Yeah, so he's cheating. Mm -hmm. He likes to cheat. See that the one behind the rocket can throw a club. Yeah, I just took it back. Ah, okay. Nice try, though, Josh. But, uh, like, I can't do anything for him. He's so that's it. All right. All right, so let's resolve. You know, if you would have had that one left there, that would have worked. Oh, would have. Yeah. Good evasion, right? You took out my one guy. Oh yes! Yay! It ain't over until it's over. No, it's 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 over. I think I don't know. Wishful <laughs> thinking. All right, goes back. Okay. All right, so. Let's see what we can do here. Um, this is getting mildly more difficult. Josh is getting a little too fast for comfort here. Yep. So I'll do that. Hey, yeah. No, I'll do that. And then I will, what am I gonna do? That's a good question. You're gonna get bonked. Apparently, you gonna get bonked. Probably am. Sure. That works. So I'm ready. How about you, Josh? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So I'm not doing any special actions. Neither am I. So we get to toss our clubs now. Yeah, I get to toss like one useful club. Yep. And uh, it's not even that useful. And that's where you're going, and then I'm gonna go. There. Okay. Reveal. I'm running away. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go right up in your grill. I knew you weren't expecting that one. Okay. Club's back. 
Can I I'm, I'm, back? I'm sensing imminent doom here for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give it my best though. Okay, your night's coming. So, Matt, can you provide a, a brief summary of what the last few minutes have contained? Uh, Anne Dime, she did a wonderful job at that. She uh, really does. I've been attempting to corral Josh. I've only got two characters to his four, so he can kind of run circles around me. <laughs> and it sure looks like that is what's going to happen. How, how do I mark Big Mama's big hit if I use that skill? Sorry? So, Big Mama has a heavy hit that does two. How do I... Say that that which one which club is hers? Um, which one is hers? Well, I guess there's no mark to mark it, so you just you know you need to know which one is hers. Okay. I mean, you place it on the board. You know, I'll, I'll put a mark on it. I'll use one of my dead guys. Okay, that works. This will be, or you can knock it over because it's such a heavy club that it, it fell over. That's, that's true. I could do that. <laughs> oh, instead, instead of making it stand, you can kind of maybe. Uh, that's a that's a a good point. Maybe you can just put it laying down okay. instead of stacking the board. Okay. Okay, I'm ready when you are. I have no idea if that's a good idea. I, I think it's but as good of an idea as any. I, I will try my best. Okay, so we toss our clubs. Yep. Well, I've, I've got one useful club I can throw here. This is exciting. <laughs> so let's, let's do that. Okay. I don't remember no, why I no, no, no. I don't, I don't like that because I know Josh. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Okay. Did it. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> I made a count. You did, you did. Right. This, this is where it's gonna start getting a little dicey for me. You need to do you your turn. What was that? I'm sorry. Oh, you're turning uh, that way. Okay, I uh, let's let's grab our clubs and let's let's do this one more time. Don't you turn over yet? <laughs> um. Did you use all your things? Yeah. No, I still have one. You still have one. I still have one. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So you can still do a fireball with the girl. I like that. You like that? I like what I have here. Okay. I'm gonna do that there. Whatever will Josh do? The world so may never know. There. Hmm. So I'm I'm done. Just pointing that out there. Rub that in, Matt. Rub it in. I am. So, how does the fireball work? You put, put it two spaces in front of you? Excuse me? How does the fireball work? It Up uh, in the three spaces in front of you, you can place and then it moves directly one in space. front of you? Yeah, directly in front of you. Okay, so I am safe from that. That's what you think. No, let's do that. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay, I'm not taking any special actions there. Okay. So, club toss in time. Um, I, I mean, I might as well throw one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't think you could even get to it, but why not? I'll, I'll throw one there just to let you know that I'm coming for you. Okay. It's a warning shot? It's Yes, it's a warning shot. Can you toss? You can toss it behind that thing? Yep, I can toss it there. Okay. Now I'm Move resolved. It. Okay. See? You, you see the club there. Now you're getting nervous. I can tell. <laughs> that's why the other one ran backwards. Yes, yes. That's exactly it. Okay, so if we move into the same space... You don't move. Nobody moves. Nobody moves. And everyone gets bonked? No, no bonk, just no one moves? Yep. Okay. Time to tango, Joshua. 
Time to tingle. Already on the game and on the far side uh, with a bump on the head? Hard to see? No. No, no, everyone's bump for A on that side. This this side here is, yeah, he's... he's yeah. There's only for one person with a bump, which is my guy, and the, uh... Okay. All by himself. All by his lonesome. Which, actually, I don't know if, if they can see it. Uh, TP, if you could please move the... Mm -hmm. the Skype window. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Party right okay. here. So we got that party going on over there. Oh boy. Here, I'll help you guys collect your clubs. I feel like you've gone into. This is, yeah, we're, in, we're in critical thinking mode now. <laughs> They're thinking. You can feel it. I can see the smoke coming out of their okay. ears. Yeah, that's for sure. I like to use the term smart fun. All right. What are we doing with Miss Lady here? You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Hmm. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Ready to throw clubs? Ready to throw clubs. All right, throw your clubs. Just a quick note, you cannot hit yourself, okay? So if you're moving to a place where you plug the, the spot, I'm your father. Okay. Actually. Alright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. You're going to surprise yourself. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Okay. They see we're charging up there. All right. Well, let's let's take this back and. Yeah. Uh, Am I too close back? No, you can't. Sorry. Oh boy. Josh, your figure at the top of the board there. Uh, it's it's hit or it's it's cool. This one over here. All right, he's good. Yeah, this one I can't see. Yeah, he's good. Unfortunately. If we can. So, if if I get hit as I get in the last row and I had a bump, I don't make it. No, if if you're at the last row, you have to be. Uh, good. Okay. You can't, uh, you can't be. You better get that one. You know, listen, Ann. <laughs> Calm it down. Your chances are good, you know? Okay. Statistics is on your side up there. <laughs> I'm ready if you are, Josh. I'm a little worried about this side of the board here, you know? Because right. he's got the other one hanging back, too. Okay, club tossing time. Then I will... You're still saving the action, huh, Matt? Uh, yeah, desperately. <laughs> <laughs> do I want to do that there? Yeah, I don't see him moving anywhere else. Okay. Good? Yep, we're good. However, I am staying put there, so I am getting that. And I went to go into your spot. Aha, uh -huh, so move. you don't move. So. That's, what, that's why I didn't move. Actually, I what, you threw there. a club where you were going to move to? But I just said it doesn't, doesn't get do hit. hit by my club. <sighs> that's not nice. Well, that's not nice, but that's what I did. So. So you should mark it, right? You didn't move with him. I did. You did? I didn't. I rotated. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So yes, I get the uh, my nice little bump, bump on the head. Yep. Bump on the head. I like that it's on the, the ponytail for her. <laughs> so let's let's do this again. Okay. That goes there. And so who's actually in the last row? Yeah. 
that. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay. Not emotionally, but. Uh, I'll be <laughs> So I can throw this here with him. Do the same thing here. You had a little preemptive throwing that club around and smacking meeples. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a tango there. Oh, that's an interesting strategy there, Josh. Ah, I see what he's doing. All right, close back. Okay. Close back. This is getting more and more difficult by the second for me. Ooh, I can do that now. That's good. What can you do with it? I'm not telling That's you. It's a secret. That's not your business. What are you peeking over here for? <laughs> which which character has an action? Doesn't left? matter. The doctor. Wouldn't you like to know? Because you didn't heal. So you can heal one of your guys, and you can throw a fire somewhere. Could throw a fire somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, are you ready, Josh? He's ready to be a cheater. He is being a cheater, right? <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Okay, ready when you are. All right. This is the worst seat ever. <laughs> you get to you get to be reached. You want to switch time. with me? Yes. Yeah. There. All right. Hi, Anne. How you doing? Hi. I'm good. Okay, ready. You sound awfully manly. I must have a hoarse voice. Okay. I'm going to move one space back here. Okay. And then I'm going to move diagonally back this way. Josh, jo no, just way. every... <laughs> I am Josh. I'm Spartacus. I am Spartacus. Uh, I'm moving this way. Interesting. Why are you going forward or backwards? <laughs> just, just to confuse the hell out of Matt, but you did take out my... Yes! My yes! Guy, my backward move. We might be. <laughs> All right. They're skipping the action. Oh my god. This is the content. And Josh, it comes hand in hand with you being your coward here. <laughs> <laughs> Them there be fighting words. And you like your name label now? Bye. Thank you. Oops. What What are you doing with those? Um, stuff and things. Stuffing things. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go there. Oops. I don't trust him now. I don't trust him at all. You should not. That's probably a wise decision. Okay, the first now one. it's time to tell you one last kind of fine tuning on the rules here. Sure. But you can also turn 180 degrees, okay? But it costs you an action. You simply put the action disc in the middle square. Okay. okay? That's good to know. Yeah. So, so you could flip around so, your dragon lady, maybe. Uh, I have rules update. Okay, so I'm ready when you are, Josh. I'm ready. Well, she's not through. They're neither of them are doing anything useful with their clubs right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw there. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna rain them right at you. You're gonna say that I'm not moving with either character. No, you're going to move right there. That's what you're going to do. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah, you can't throw yeah. at anything. I mean, I can. You're facing backwards. Useful. All right, there go ahead. Go. Uh, you were correct with this one. 
so I did get a bump on the head from that, unfortunately. I know, I know. But you're, you're down, but you're not out. And then she moved back this way here. <sighs> okay. Let's see what I can do. Can two of your own characters occupy the same space? No, right? No. Now would be an awesome time to use a run. Right, <laughs> so let's get it. <laughs> So next game, when you plan your things and set up and everything, and when you use your action, then uh, think about that. That is a good late game thing to keep an action for. But all the runners are dead. You just got two doctors, a dragon lady, and the brute guy. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay. I'm using one of my actions. Okay. And uh, I'm, where's, I need a fire. Oh, he's using the fire. I'm gonna set the knight on fire here. Okay. It's a good move, good move. And then I'm gonna throw some clubbage. Do I wanna do that? And then I'm gonna throw. No, I don't need a double kill on my eye. I'd rather do that. That away. Uh, I think he'll move. I think he'll move. Why is this one still here? No one should be there. Yeah, nothing's there. Um. Whatever will he do? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So let's reveal. Wait. No, you're. There. Let's reveal. You had it right originally. Oh. Well. <laughs> I do take the ball here. And then I'm gonna move back this way here. Why would I do that? And I can't move into the fire, I just get a bonk? Yeah, you can't move into it, you just get a bonk. So I got bonks on both my characters. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That was pretty good. Look at you. Oh so this game is very, uh, well, I mean, it's not neck and neck so much just because of Joshua's threat of being so close to that home row with each of his characters. Yeah, and imagine if you, if uh, if Matt would have left two of these actions to the end, or maybe the dragon lady, that would have, that would have been brutal right now. Oh, for sure. But why didn't you turn your uh, girl? You know, I, I think I left it on the wrong thing by accident, or I don't remember oh. what I meant to do. But either way, I, I'll live with my decision. Okay, so that that's you, so I can't do anything with that. And now I'll do that. Sure. Okay, I think I'm ready when you are. So what happens now that both of the characters have a bonk? I thought that the character that made it to the home row had to have zero hits. No, they just no, have to be alive. Yeah, they have to be alive. No, it can be, it can be hit, but it can't be dead. Okay. So you can't die when you get into the last row. Okay, that's the gamble of your game. Uh, so basically, Matt now has to tactically move, use two things. Not only his club, he also has to use his motion in order to block the, the opponent's motion. Correct. So let's let's see how I did. Okay. Ready? Reveal. Wait, which space is this club on? Is it on mine or the one behind me? One behind you. Okay. And reveal. He killed me. He killed no! me too. Oh, oh we, wait, you died too, Josh? Yeah, but I just moved right here. Oh. The spot you just left. So I moved there. Um, I think I have this. Yeah, yeah I... There's nothing you can do now. 
there's nothing I can do because uh, I'm gonna have to turn. Right. So Josh is gonna win this one. Just barely though. Just this came down to the wire. Okay. <laughs> the doctor has made it. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh. Even though, even though I did I pretty, well, I did pretty well. You did really great. You good. Thank you. You done did good. I mean, yeah. I, know, but... I had a tremendous handicap on my team, but. <laughs> I'm kidding. You did a wonderful job in the beginning, and in the beginning, in the beginning, not the end so much. Who took out the dragon lady? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so thank you everyone for joining us. This was uh, Stone Days. So Anne, this is where I wanted you to talk. Yes. All right, one second. Do, 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 do. Ah! Do, do, do. Ah, you're good. Let's <laughs> go. Cool. Yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so this game was a lot of fun. What inspired you guys to go into board game design? Uh, well, actually, it was kind of. Uh, um, I'm an architect by profession. One of my friends just. Uh, threw it at me and you know as a challenge so it would make a game you know for the guys and I did I made a game and then another game and another game and another game <laughs> it became an obsession and so it kind of uh, got me into it and um, with the Kickstarter success you know it's growing and filling our time really nicely and we're having a lot of fun with it and growing with it and uh, that's basically how uh, it came to be. Very cool. Yeah. For me, it's, uh, apart from being a passion from, from childhood, it's also, uh, uh, you know, in, back then we didn't have uh, smartphones and everyone gaming all over except for an Atari or whatever. Uh, so uh, it came back, uh, especially with my kids growing up and being stuck to the screen. So we're, we're really proud to make games that are fun and can be played with family, as family. Uh, you know, mother and daughter against father and son, father against son. It's, uh, it's, uh, it requires a uh, not only, you know, throwing things at home. These games have a lot of pieces uh, that are really unique from what I've seen. I absolutely, I, I really think that the magnetic boards are very interesting. Uh, the way that you count hits is really interesting. Uh, wh where did the ideas come from for such intuitive, for such interesting pieces? Um, <laughs> creativity, you know, that question. Where this, where being a designer, you know, by profession, so we always come to it on, with a clean sheet. And we're trying to say, you know, what can we do that's a bit different and interesting. And uh, it's very important for us uh, that the pieces look good, that, you know, you can feel that you see the nipples, they're kind of big and fun to hold, and those um, rock mounds. Who's not a sucker for that? It's a big part of the game experience, you know? Yeah. I, I'm really a sucker for magnets. Uh, trying to do everything with them. <laughs> from big mosquitoes to... <laughs> it's really, really perfect for you know? The kids dig it too, so... I think it, and also, you know, the simple, you know, you know the components are all wood, uh, and they're not wood, and they're metal, you know, it's basic components of, of not using uh, processed or unorganic materials is really important to us, uh, partially because of the design process and partially even ecologically, so it's really fun to use just a thing like a now that was something as as part of your company as a whole is that you guys have a commitment to making games that are eco-friendly. Is that correct? As much as we can, yeah, yeah. 
That's really cool. Yeah. The minimizing the Inca signature is, is part of our lives in general, so we try to bring it into board gaming. Naturally, say, you know, uh, using cardboard and whatnot is tougher, but, you know, we, we do as much as we can. What have you, what has been most challenging about trying to design a game and have it be eco-friendly? And how did you overcome that challenge? I guess, uh, oh, from an eco-friendly uh, angle, you mean? Say it again. The usage of cardboard is basically where we're still struggling to, you know, to make it better. And I think with wood, which is perishable, and using the metal discs uh, also, uh, so, you know, we'll figure something out. Yeah. I think it's cool. What, uh, for other game designers who also have a passion for making for making things that are eco-friendly, what is one uh, simple thing that a game designer could trade out to make their games a little bit more eco-friendly? I think, I think using the wood today, as much as it might be <coughs> something uh, uh, less... Uh, Streamlined as far as manufacturing, it's still much fun, much more fun to handle. I think. And on top of that, you you get uh, you get a perishable uh, component, so why not? Yeah, I think that's great. All right, is there anything else that you wanted to ask him? Um, no, gentlemen, is there anything that you wanted to make sure that our audience knows about you guys, your company, your games uh, before we say goodnight? Well. We, we really want to thank you guys for a wonderful game. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, anticipated such a great uh, uh, ending. And uh, so it's always fun to see another game which is different. And just from watching, I, you know, we get that adrenaline rush. Uh, you, you know, it's important for us to deliver what we call smart fun. Uh, and we are committed for an excellence in our games and our previous two games, Elementos and Final Act, are both enjoying a five-star rating and on Amazon for, for buyers. And, and, and we just know, we want to know, we want our backers to know that and, and, you know we, we got them covered and if they uh, back us up and pledge, they'll get their, their money's worth. Awesome. Fantastic. Gentlemen, thank you again for joining us. Uh, we're going to... What? Oh, we're going to do a giveaway. Uh, I believe you guys said that you wanted to hold a giveaway at the end of the stream. Is that right? Yes, of course. Ooh, fantastic. Okay, Josh, this is the first time we're using our new giveaway system. Go to Nightbot. Mm-hmm. Why don't you... Do you want me to go over? Yep. All right, so we're going to be doing a giveaway for a copy of this game. So for any of you in chat that are interested, Josh is going to put the details on awesome. how to enter that very soon. Look at how much prettier the stream just got. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> so, so Look, chat, it's even prettier. Chat's just going to be need to be active. Cause it's only going to be people who are talking in chat. Ah, okay. So not yet, but... In a second, sure you guys they... could post something, you'll get auto-entered. Is that how it works? Yeah, so as long as they... Uh, I have no idea what you did to stream I don't know how stream all this work. So. <laughs> uh, so do you want to do the giveaway after the review section? Yes. Okay. Unless they want to be present for the giveaway. I think it would just be for time-wise. I think it would be the best to, to do it like right. that. Yeah. So Josh is going to set up the giveaway. And uh, as soon as he's done with that, we'll. Now, uh, this is a Kickstarter. A Correct. game that is on Kickstarter. So, so our contestants know the giveaway is not a product that we will be immediately shipping out tomorrow, next week, next right. month. Uh, it is something that we will be that will get shipped out when the production run happens. So, Expect that delivery will be December. Okay. Perfect in time for Christmas. <laughs> Fantastic. What a great family to game for Christmas. Actually, yeah. Yes. All right, so everyone stay tuned. Mention something in chat. You'll be entered for the giveaway. Other than that, again, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. This was our spotlight hey. section of Stone Days. Uh, Sharon and Lior, thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing our honest review section in just a second where we talk about what we liked, what wasn't our favorite, and what we would change given the chance about the game. But signing off for now, this is Twist Gaming. I'm Matt. 
I'm Anne. I'm Josh, off screen. And good night to you gentlemen, and we will be back in just one second. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Go to bed.